Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before I get started with today's video, give this video a huge thumbs up. Check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the description and consider subscribing. Today is a coding video, or rather how to set up the software to code and diagnose your BMW. I did have an old guide on my channel, which I will still link, but I have an updated guide for 2020 in a much easier way of installing IMPA, NCS Expert, Wing KFP, NCS dummy and how to have all the profiles to actually code your car. Now, don't worry if you guys don't know how to use any of the software, I will be coming out with two more videos, one fully going over IMPA and one fully going over NCS Expert. IMPA is used to diagnose your car and NCS Expert is used to code your car, code new modules, and then you can use WinKFP to actually update your modules software. Before going any further, I should mention this software is free. However, you will need a cable and I will link the cable to buy down below. Guys, please use the cable that I'm linking down below, not only because it's an Amazon affiliate link, but it's because it's the right cable to code your BMW. I get so many people commenting on my video saying, hey, I can't communicate with the car. And 99% of the time, it's because of the cable they're using. You need to use a K plus DCAN cable, and it is very important that the cable has a switch to switch over from the K line to the DCAN line, because if it doesn't, you will not be able to communicate with the car. So if it didn't have the, the switch, you would not be able to communicate with the E46, E39, and E38. So it's very important to buy a cable with a switch, and I will link one down below. So definitely please check out that link. So getting started, when you download the link that I have listed in the description for the software, guys, this is my Google Drive, so nothing will happen. It won't get taken down. It'll always be up to date. Some of the other links I've used in the past have gotten taken down and stuff like that. So the, this will always have the most up-to-date information on my Google Drive, so check that link down below. It's really simple. I did not create this tool, but it, it's called Mike's Easy BMW Tools, and it allows you for a one-click installation. Well, almost one click. There's a couple other things we have to do. One great thing about using this installation that I'm showing you guys is this is a one-step installation if you want to upgrade to ISTA and have ISTA on the computer too. It has everything set up to allow you to use ISTA. So if you're trying to get ISTA installed, you definitely need to follow this guide first. So now let's get on to the guide. So basically, right click, run the setup as administrator. Then we're just gonna press yes. And I should mention this works on Windows 10. I'm on Windows 10, works on Windows 7, and I think Windows XP, but definitely works on Windows 10, which is great. And another thing is, if you guys are looking how to get BMW Scanner 1.4 on Windows 10, I can come up with a guide if you'd like to see because I have mine working. So here we go, launches the installation, and you can see Mike's Easy BMW Tools. Like I said, I did not create this, but so let's let this run, and then we're gonna press next here. And basically we're not gonna touch anything. We're just gonna keep pressing next, and then we're gonna press install, and then it's gonna install. And there's only one thing we need to change in this installation, I believe, we'll see. So I'm back after the installation of Easy BMW Tools, which includes everything. You'll see that you now have the new icons on your desktop that we'll go over in a minute. But basically right here, leave this checked and click finish. And you will notice that you have this box right here. This is to actually install the drivers, which is great. So let's see, basically, this is what we have to do after to make sure the port is configured. But let's go right here. Let's press next, let's press accept, and bam, it's installing the drivers. I don't know, yeah, so mine failed only because I think I already have them installed because I've been using it, but this should go through. It should say installation successful, and if it doesn't, I'll show you what else you can do to get them to install, but this is kind of the other step you have to do to get your drivers to work. But now what we're going to do is we're gonna press finish here, and then we're going to insert our K plus DCAN cable. I'm using a VM, I'm actually on a Mac, but we want it to connect to the Windows side. And then we wanna to go to the Start menu, and we wanna type in Device Manager. Press Enter, and now we wanna go down to Ports. And right here you may see your DCAN cable with like an exclamation mark. If it's not installing the drivers correctly, just press Update and click search automatically and let it search automatically for the drivers and it should be able to find the drivers online. That is how I got mine to work is searching for the drivers online. So once you do have your drivers installed correctly, you want to right click on your device and you wanna click property 
and then you want to click port settings, advanced settings, and you want to check two things in here. One, you want to make sure that this says COM port one. Very important that this says COM port one. If this does not say COM port one and, you, and it says something like COM ports in use, you need to go over here and change the other device to use a different COM port. You need your cable to use COM port one because it is set in a configuration file to use COM port one. So we definitely want that. Second thing, make sure your latency timer is set to one and then press OK and then OK again. Now your cable is all set up and should be able to communicate. All right, cool, so that is all we have to do here. Now there's one more thing we need to do. You will have these files in the download link that I have linked to my Google Drive. Copy them all. This is very important, you need these files. These files are what's gonna allow you to manipulate things inside of NCS Expert to actually code your car, there's different sort of profiles and these are the correct profiles that you need. So what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to the C drive, we're gonna to go to NCS Expert without the T, we're then gonna to go to PFL, and then we're gonna click right, we're gonna right click and we're going to paste and then it's gonna say replace the files in this destination, very important. Okay, perfect. So now one thing that I always like to do is I like to make a new folder. Just call it BMW tools. And then copy the new icons that were created. And just dump them in just so I have all my BMW stuff all together. So bam, that is everything installed. Installed BMW coding tool, which is an alternative to NCS Expert. I won't really go over that. You don't really need it. You have IMPA NCS Dummy, which allows you to see all the files in English for coding. I'll go over this in another video. You have NCS Expert, Tool32, WinKFP if you need to update your software on any of your control modules. So one thing, we are going to open up NCS Expert, make sure that we can see these new profiles. And like I said, I will be going over two different videos of how to completely go through IMPA which is used to diagnose your car. So I'll show you how to diagnose your car with IMPA and I'll show you how to code your car with NCS Expert, a full walkthrough. So we're gonna go to load profile and bam, we can see the profiles. We'll always be using Revter's NCS Expert profile. But now that we have the software installed, let's launch IMPA. And you're gonna see that it says battery off, ignition off, even though my cable is connected, but that's because we're not connected to the car. So now I'm going to connect to the car and then I just wanna make sure that we can make a connection to the car. This is very important because if you have the software installed, but you can't make a connection, the software is basically useless. So let's go plug the cable in that I linked down in the description for you and test it out. But guys, truly, that's how easy it is to install NCS Expert and IMPA and WinKFP on Windows 10. It's so simple. I have another video that's for Windows 10 that's more complicated, but this installs the same exact stuff. You have all your engines or all your models, you have E46, E53, you even have the E90, even some F series, but obviously this channel is usually focused around the E46. So if I click E46, look, bam, all the engines. So once you earn it, you click the engine. But let's let's go connect to the car and double check that everything's working. So I'll be back once I'm connected to the car and showing you guys how to do that. Okay, so we can click E46 to diagnose the E46. We can then press engine, and then we're gonna select our engine. In this case, I have the M54 with the MS43 ECU. So we're gonna press that, it's gonna load. You might get this little bop, pop up, just press okay. And then we are going to wanna to go F4, read error memory. And then right here, we can see the different options. We can read the error memory, clear it, read the shadow memory. So we're gonna read the error memory. And then we're gonna press F1. It's gonna read it. And then you're gonna see all your errors pop up right here. And yes, unfortunately they are in German, but we can see them. We can see when it occurred, all this great stuff. And then if we want, we can press clear and our memory has been cleared. We can also take a look at the shadow memory. Press F3, we can see what's in the shadow memory, and we can also clear that out too, so we'll give that a clear also. And now that's been cleared. So that's really the basics of how to work IMPA. Now, there are a lot more things you can do with IMPA, and like I said, I will be going over a video with that. Sometimes you do get these weird errors inside of IMPA, 
I would just press no and it will stop whatever it's doing in the background, but it does work. So just read the errors with that as you saw, and we can see some stuff like manufacture data my car. But now I want to show you guys NCS Expert and how to use that. Just the basics, like I said, I'll be going over a video on both to give you more in-depth tutorials of both. Okay, so I want to quickly go over NCS Expert and how you can use it to code a option to a module that your car did not come with or if you retrofitted something. So let's launch NCS Expert. It's gonna load up and then we're gonna go file, load, and these were the profiles that we loaded earlier and we wanna click RevTers NCS Expert profile. This gives you all the options to manipulate all the different modules. So we wanna press okay. Then we wanna press F1, which is VIN VCS slash FA. So we'll press that and then we're gonna press F3. And then we're gonna pick our chassis. So in this case, I have an E46. So we're going to click E46, press OK, and then we're going to choose where we read the VIN and vehicle order from. Now, this doesn't matter if you, well, it kind of does. If you have a post-facelift car, you want to read the A, K, and B, or A, L, S, Z. If you have a pre-facelift, which is 2001 or older, you want to do E, W, S, or K, and B. So because I have a post-facelift, we're going to choose A, K, and B. And then you should see it read your VIN and vehicle order. If it doesn't and you get an error, this is usually a classic sign of um, pins 7 and 8 not bridged. Usually Impo will allow you to read the engine because that's not using the K-line. But now we're communicating to the K-line for coding. So that's usually not connected if you get an error right here. But now we're going to press back. And if you get an error right here when you press back, all you need to do is open up NCS Dummy and open up the trace file. So I can show that to you quickly right now. So if you were to get an error when you press back, all you need to do, I think it's an issue with this version or the way this was packaged. All you have to do is open up NCS Dummy, which comes pre-installed with NCS Expert and everything else. So all you have to do, choose your chassis, choose any module, click browse, and then it's automatically gonna open you up into this folder. Look for the trace file. So FSW underscore PSW, dot trace make sure you do that specific one not the sysdaten one just press open let it read it in press exit and you can go back to ncs expert and it'll let you it will if you redo this process that i just showed when you click back you will no longer get that error now i like i said only do that if you get the error but what what i'm going to show you right now is how you can read a specific module and change something so what you want to do now is you press back you want to go to process ecu and then you want to pick the ECU that you want to process. So let's say, I don't know, we want to add something to the general model, module 5. We're going to click GM5. We're going to press OK. We're going to press OK again. This just shows you the version that you have and other stuff. And then we're going to press OK again. And then we're going to click change job. This is very important. We want to change the job to coder Dayton lesson. This means to read the code. It was previously on SG code Deeran, which means write the code. So what we're going to do is we're going to read the code and then we're going to write the code once we change it. So we're going to press coder date and lesson like here, press OK and click execute job. And it's going to say coding active, coding ended, and it read it. Now it made a file under NCS expert. So go C NCS expert and then go work folder. And then you'll see if you sort it by date modified, you should have one modified for the time that you saw. So if we look right here, we have a trace file from 537, it's 538. So that's what we wanna open. We wanna open the trace file. You'll always be working with the trace file and the man file. Don't worry about any of the other files. You only need to worry about FSW underscore PSW, the trace and the man file of that. So we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna see a bunch of options. These are the things that you can modify. So if you do not know how to look through and find stuff. I will be, like I said, I'll be coming up with a video on how to use this, but I just want to show you that's to get you going. That's how you write it. That's how you read it. And then once you change something, so if I change this to like niche active, which means not active, what we're going to do, I'm going to back that up because I don't want to actually save that. But if you want to change that, you're going to click file, save as, and then instead you're going to change this to all files. And instead of writing it as a man, a trace file, we want to write it as a man file. That's how the car knows it can rewrite that to the, to the car. Right now, 
you can only re you're able to retrace files and write man files and that's how it should be so you can't write the same file twice so we're going to click save it's going to say it already exists do you want to replace yes we do and then we're going to exit this and we're going to go back to ncs expert and remember when i was talking about that there is coder date in lesson to read and there's sg code year and to write now we're going to go back and click change job and click sg code year in. And then we click execute job and that would write your new code to the car. And all you have to do is when you're done, cycle the car off and then back on. And that option is now coded, but I'm not going to do that because I don't need to code anything. So that's really all I wanted to show you. I just want to give you guys a brief overview of how to use these programs too. But like I said, I will be coming out with dedicated videos on how to code that. So definitely look out for that. Also, if you guys have any other videos you want to know on how to code, if you have just can't figure it out, don't know the options, um, let me know. I will be putting a link to all these files that you need and a list of all the coding options on the E46. But some of these options are kind of hard to manipulate and require a couple different settings to be changed to get it to actually work. So if you guys want to see any other tutorials on how to code stuff, please let me know. And I will definitely make a video on that. Also check out the link in the description to buy this specific K plus DCAN cable. Guys, this is really the best one to buy. Please buy the one in the description. You won't have any troubles with it. That's why I'm saying it, not just because it's an affiliate link, but because a lot of people come to me with issues with their cables. Guys, I've had no issues. I absolutely love the cable I have. It's pretty cheap. So check that one out. But that is all I have for today's video. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Any videos you want to see on how to code, drop them in the comments below. Consider subscribing. And guys, please smash that thumbs up button. It helps out the channel a lot and helps my videos in YouTube's algorithm grow and get my channel discovered more. So smash that thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.